This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location from ITW 2018 in the windy city of Chicago, Illinois. And I am here with my new friend who just ran up the stairs to make it to this interview. Five floors. <laughs> five, five whole floors. Mr. Ryan Oro. Ryan is the Senior Vice President of EdgeCore. Ryan, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me. You bet, you bet. So thanks again for running up all of those stairs. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. Um, and we appreciate it even more so because um, our viewers may not have heard of EdgeCore before. EdgeCore is uh, a new logo in, in our industry and already making some waves. So Ryan, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you talk to us a little bit about EdgeCore? Absolutely. So EdgeCore is a U.S. operator of wholesale data centers. We're, we have a tier one orientation in terms of the markets that we're choosing. Really, we're choosing the markets that matter to the large hyperscale users and Fortune 1000 account base. Mm -hmm. um, for us, what does that mean? Well, that means we are going into Dallas. We're going into Reno. We're going into Phoenix. On each of those properties, we already have acquired land in all three locations. But that would say, well, you're a regional guy. Well, where, where's next? So for us, we want to create a national platform that matters. So you need to be in the markets that matter. Chicago, the Windy City, one of those markets. We are currently in market right now to acquire land, support over 100 megawatts of demand. And after that, we are looking in the uh, in the Northern Virginia area. I can't tell you the exact submarket yet, but it's a submarket. Come on, you can tell me, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but it's uh, it's definitely on our on our map and on our plans. I think you'll see us execute on that by Q3. And then the hardest market, but honestly, one of my one of my favorite markets really is the Bay Area. You know, mm -hmm. the Bay Area, Bay Area in Ashburn is where the internet really began. And um, we uh, we need to have a presence there. It is a very hard market. I mean, if you think real estate prices are high where where we live, real estate prices in the Bay Area are even tougher. Forget about it. So <laughs> so we will uh, we will ultimately find a you know a, a campus oriented approach to development in that market and have capacity for our customers. Outstanding. You're actually creating some segues better than I could have ever done myself. Um, so, uh, you know, you, obviously a very aggressive build-out strategy. You've mentioned some of those markets now. Um, but um, what's driving this strategy? What's driving the aggression, for lack of a better word, uh, the, the aggressiveness yeah. of your strategy? Um, it, it's aggressive because now is the time. And while it's aggressive, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that's risky for us. We're a team that's done it before. Mm -hmm. um, we, you know, we have we have the ex CEO of CoreSight, who uh, who essentially built a company from scratch. We are we're targeting these markets in an aggressive fashion because not we've done it, but there's opportunity. Um, I don't know about you, but I, I love using the internet. I love <laughs> being on my phone. It's part of my daily life, and honestly, it makes everything easier. The potential use cases continue to astound me. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Well, that's got to sit somewhere, and it sits in a data center, and hopefully it sits in an edge core data center. Fantastic. I mean, obviously, I, I just in the, the 15 minutes that you and I have I've been here in this room at ITW, I can tell that there's there's a fire there. There's something there's definitely something going on. And and obviously, you've got the team to, to make it happen. Um, and so everything's happening right on the front end. But what does that ultimately mean to, um, you know, telecom operators? Mm -hmm. Um, for the telecom operators, depending on which segment you look at, sometimes we are their best opportunity to grow their business, and sometimes we're the best opportunity for them to make money off of our business. A lot of our, for instance, the the network environment, the the the, the network owners that are um, creating fiber capacity across the U.S. to make it so that my phone loads faster. Mm -hmm they are ultimately going to want to pop our data centers to go serve our end customers. And so it's a, it's a revenue stream. It's an opportunity. We're really part of this together, developing an ecosystem. We're just one key component of it. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I love I love the fact that we're I'm getting kind of talking to you on the ground floor of uh, of your 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 supreme uh, plan to take over the world. I, it's it's kind of fun for us to do something like that. But what I would really like to hear from you right now. So let's just let's let's make a pact right now in Atlanta. We're going to do this again, and you're going to be telling me things next year in Atlanta. Um, that I don't know about yet, but you probably have an idea of what things are going to look like a year from now. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Uh, well, you know, I can tell you, we, we definitely have the vision. We have the opportunity. It's really on us to execute. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully I'm sitting here next year with a very different story of what we've completed and what we've done, because ultimately our brand, we have to execute. That's why, that's why customers are talking to us.
Yeah, you bet, you bet. Um, Ryan, a pleasure, pleasure meeting you. Great Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for your time today, um, and we'll, we'll definitely do this again next year. Fantastic. Thanks again. You got it. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon. Thank you.